Well, I certainly had an interesting weekend. Um, I was put on blast by J.K. Rowling, of all people. Yes, that J.K. Rowling, author of Harry Potter, multimillionaire, lives in a castle, J.K. Rowling. Now, she put me on blast because I angrily tweeted at her and um, she actually saw it. Now, I angrily tweet at celebrities and politicians all the time. I feel like my tweets to Joel Olstein in particular are bangers, but I tweeted at her because of something that she said, which was stupid. Um, and she did not like what I had to say, so she put me on blast to her 14 million Twitter followers. And the mob came after me. And of course, they wanted to cancel me, but I am resilient, um, and I will talk about this experience now. Uh, but what's interesting is her tactics. They're very clear. So for those of you who don't know, lately, J.K. Rowling has been obsessed with trans people. And I think that she didn't like initially that what she had to say was perceived as bigoted, rightfully so. And so she's been trying to prove that she's not really a bigot. She just cares about women and girls and even gays and lesbians. And so it's not anti-trans. She's just concerned about women. Aren't you concerned about women, you big misogynist? Um, except what she's saying is by definition transphobic. And every time she tries to prove that she's not a bigot, she becomes further entrenched in this transphobic position and ironically proves our point for us. So let me show you what she tweeted out that I responded to. So she wrote, history will judge whether Dr. David Bell was a hateful transphobe or trying to alert people to a medical scandal, but he's far from the only health professional raising these concerns and I have the letters and emails to prove it. Now, we're not going to get too deep into his arguments here, but basically, in essence, his argument is that these doctors, they are uh, too flippantly diagnosing young people with gender dysphoria. Perhaps they're just gay or lesbian and not actually, you know, experiencing gender dysphoria. On top of that, uh, he claims essentially that more trans people are getting this diagnosis or excuse me, more autistic people are getting this gender uh, dysphoria diagnosis. Uh, so suggesting that autistic people are being taken advantage of. Nice ableism there, by the way. Um, no, actually, this isn't really an issue. People who are diagnosed with gender dysphoria, by and large, that's a correct diagnosis. So let's actually look at some facts really quickly here. So 97% of trans people are happy with their transition. And in the UK, JK Rowling's country, the regret rate is 0.47%. I repeat, 0.47%. So doctors are overwhelmingly getting their diagnosis of gender dysphoria correct, but he's pretending as if this is some big issue when it's not. Now, the reason why he's claiming this is an issue and he's fashioning himself as a sort of whistleblower is because He's anti-trans, quite literally. This is an anti-trans charlatan who doesn't think that kids should get gender-affirming care. He's in lockstep with Republicans in the United States. And people politely responded to J.K. Rowling and tried to point this out. For example, Aaron wrote, Joanne, you are literally pushing a conversion therapist. He belongs to an organization calling for 100% detransition that calls each youth who goes on to transition a failure that seeks to eliminate youth transition that calls HRT opposite sex imitation medicine. Now, this person noted that he lacks the credentials that he claims to have. Bell has not actually worked clinically with trans people. He has no relevant expertise. He was a staff governor with no clinical involvement and is facing disciplinary procedure. So ask yourself this question, why wouldn't J.K. Rowling tweet out the peer-reviewed studies that show that gender-affirming care for young people saves lives? It's medically necessary. It reduces rates of depression and suicidality. Why would she tweet out this one quack who's a bigot, it's because he's confirming her transphobic point of view. Now, people try to engage respect uh, respectfully. I, for one, I don't engage respectfully with uh, transphobes and homophobes because I'm of the belief that civil rights are not debatable, even though it technically is debatable in certain countries politically. But I don't think that they're debatable. So my goal is to just insult them until they shut the fuck up. And I want to make it socially unacceptable for bigots to speak their mind. I want them to keep their bigotry, their transphobia, their racism, their misogyny to their self. So I usually don't try to engage respectfully. I just insult them and I move on. So I tweeted this to JK Rowling. You're a repulsive bigot. Go fuck yourself, transphobic trash. Now, shockingly, she saw that tweet and she decided to screen cap it. And she put me on blast responding saying, 
Me shares video of experienced psychiatrist, that's wrong, who turned whistleblower, expressing his deep concern at high numbers of autistic children and children with internalized homophobia presenting at gender clinics. Them, and then she shares my tweet, letting her 14 million followers know where to find me. And find me, they did. But before we get to that, um, my response was not indicative of most of the responses that she received. Sure, there were people that were just calling her a transphobic bigot, but there were people there who actually tried to engage respectfully, but she just bypassed them and went right to my tweet. Why is that? Well, it's because this cry bully wants to be perceived as the victim. Well, I'm just sharing this expert opinion and they're coming at me. They're calling me a transphobe. Aren't I the victim? Maybe my followers should go get this person and tell them how mean they are to me. I mean, it's so ridiculous. You could have shared Aaron's tweet. You could have shared the actual valid critiques of Dr. Bell. But yet you didn't. You just shared somebody like me who was being mean to you because you're trying to make it seem as if trans people are bullies and trans allies are bullies. When, no, we're just concerned about people who want to live their lives, but you are hell-bent on making their existence hell. So that's why people are mean to you, right? You put hate into the world. Don't be surprised when we respond with vitriol in kind because it's unacceptable. So, um, you know, after I saw this, I had to double down because that's what I do because I'm correct here. So I tweeted out, I'm so happy this multimillionaire asshole saw my insult. I genuinely hope it ruined her day. Trans rights are human rights and we will fight against prejudiced bigots like JK Rowling every time she opens her transphobic mouth. Leave trans people alone, you goddamn psycho. Now, let me just pause for a moment. I think that what she was expecting was her mob to come after me and then I'd you know, set my uh, Twitter account to private, but I don't care. I mean, these folks, they don't know anything about me. They've never heard of me. They've never seen the humanist report. So any insult that they lob against me is meaningless. It just comes out of a place of simping for JK Rowling, wanting to defend mother's honor no matter what. How dare you tell her to go fuck herself? Don't you know she's a multimillionaire who lives in a castle? She wrote Harry Potter. You speak to her with respect, motherfucker, but I don't, I, I don't care. Like, Again, I've been on YouTube for such a long time that I have very thick skin, and that's not to say that certain insults don't bother me from time to time, but these po folks don't know who I am. So what can they possibly say to hurt my feelings? So of course I'm going to double down because I'm ride or die with my trans fam, okay? Now, uh, my mutuals on Twitter responded as well, defending me. Uh, the Cavernacle wrote, only Nazis agree with your opinions on the LGBT community, and he's right. He pointed out how Richard Spencer retweeted her, and by the way, a good indication that you're on the wrong side of history is when literally neo-nazis agree with you and they retweet you just saying and the viglin wrote i'm so sorry that you're facing consequences for your bigotry outside of your preferred context my heart bleeds for you the serfs responded saying oh damn mike you're famous queen of the turfs is coming for you vosh said you should share the opinions of more experts then since psychiatric and medical institutions in america and the uk overwhelmingly support trans people you are such a piss baby imagine being a trillionaire author and crying over a go fuck yourself on twitter and that's such a good point. Imagine being a multimillionaire living in a literal castle and you're so fragile that somebody saying go fuck yourself is grounds for you to put them on blast. I mean, I could take it, right? I'm not a victim, unlike her. She likes to be the victim. I'm not a victim because she sent her mob towards me. But like, imagine being so thin skinned that you have to seek out these responses and put it on blast so people defend you so you feel good about yourself. And I'm by no means like the smallest person who she's put on blast. She'll oftentimes seek out small trans creators and she'll put them on blast to her 14 million followers. Like someone like me, I'm big enough to where I could take that, but smaller creators, that would be overwhelming for them. They don't know how to deal with that sort of a dog pile. So it, it's weird that she does this. But, uh, you know, let's, let's get to the dog pile and the responses because I think it really was insightful because it shows how deranged these transphobes are and they will use any argument imaginable to defend mother jk rowling transphobic queen so this person says that they reported me this person said i have a tiny penis how dare they how dare they say that about me uh this person called me a rapist um okay this person called me a pedophile this person also reported me this person called me a misogynist 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 report bearded misogynist now i've got to say you know you can call me a misogynist you can say these hurtful things about me but if you criticize my beard that's just the line too far don't you dare criticize my beard <laughs> 
uh, look, all of that, you know, you, you think that that's, that's hateful. This person, they created a horrible image of me where they wrote dickhead over a picture of me. And then they spammed that to basically every response that I made. How dare they do this? I have no choice but to concede now. JK Rowling must have been correct because you wrote dickhead over an image of me. There's also somebody who tried to find a picture of me soy facing. So they just found my YouTube account and they screen capped an, an image of me with my mouth open. But I mean, I've been posting YouTube videos for years. There's thousands of videos. I'm sure there's one video of me authentically soy facing, but I just, I, I don't understand how it's an own, but these are children. These are probably really young people, young fans of hers who just, you know, they they find a celebrity who they latch onto. Maybe they read Harry Potter and think she's, you know, a demigod or some shit like that. And, you know, they, they can't accept anyone who would dare criticize her. Uh, and it's funny that the number one response that I've seen is that because I told J.K. Rowling to go fuck herself, I'm a misogynist. It's inherently misogynistic to be rude to a woman. A woman. That makes no sense whatsoever. That's actually misogynistic to make that claim because don't you think that a woman like a man can be told to go fuck themselves? I mean, I'm an equal opportunity offender here, right? Um, so what they didn't know, however, was that I have my own Uno reverse card. So any one of these JK Rowling fans who called me a misogynist, who criticized my beard, who made fun of me for uh, my, my penis size, guess what? I'm gay, you're now homophobe, because if any insult against J.K. Rowling is inherently misogynistic, then any insult against me is inherently homophobic. Also, I I've got to say that this person, they really had me figured out. They claimed not only that I was an incel and that my inability to get laid is le leading to me hating women, but also that I'm probably planning violence and people should really watch the signs here. Yeah, yeah, very, very interesting takes. Again, like nothing that they say can truly offend me because they don't know who I am. So they're calling me an incel and a misogynist and they're saying, LOL, you have a beard. I do. Yes, it is an actual intentional choice that I have to have a beard. <laughs> so, her fans are as deranged as her, but I don't necessarily put much stock into what they say because these are probably very young people. Um, but, you know, I will never back away uh, when it comes to defending marginalized people. I can take the hate, but I don't think that trans people who are just normal people trying to live their lives should have to put up with hate. So my message to JK Rowling officially is in the most British voice possible. Fuck off, you wanker. That's what I have to say to you. So uh, keep talking shit about trans people. We will keep responding because what you're doing is just harmful and gross. I mean, she has such a large platform, so much influence, so much money that she could make the world a better place. But she's not. She's making life even more of a hell for trans people. And that's so gross. Like, you have to be a disgusting human being to just constantly go after trans people because your fifis are hurt. Who cares about your feelings, okay? Trans people are killing themselves. And so gender affirming care is medically necessary. Trans rights are human rights. Trans women are women. And you, JK Rowling, you're just a fucking terrible person. So uh, don't cry as you bully trans people. Don't pretend as if you're the victim as you victimize trans people. You are the oppressor in this instance. You are the one marginalizing them. And if you don't want the backlash, then stop tweeting about trans people. Stop being so fucking obsessed about trans people, you goddamn psychopath. Were you acting like a... Oh.